One of the major ideas is that we experience what we offer. Mm -hmm. If we're offering hatred and I need to fix you and there's something the matter with you and I need to obliterate you from off the map, it's like <laughs> what that's doing to us is just unspeakable. Mm -hmm. You might say psychic damage. It doesn't damage who we really are, but it, it adds some more granite to the blocks that we have between us and our transcendent state. Which but. brings up a very annoying part of this, is okay. that, like, uh, say when my son, who is now a man, uh, was not taking out the trash or doing any of his things he was supposed to be doing, uh. and I'm thinking, he's not doing that, and I'm supposed to change? Now let me yeah. get this straight here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I have to work on me. Yeah, what about yeah, exactly. Oh, we were talking about mm -hmm. the judgment. You know, we, mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. even judging our judging and um, mm -hmm. seeing things that we would like different in a few people. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would that all very annoying, you know, uh, when you SMBs, know right? what to do <laughs> and you know where you should be and how, what you should be coming from and you know you're not there. <laughs> I know, it's just as annoying as it can be. And and I think one cultivates over and over and over and, and more uh, universally that when we get crosswise with somebody, even if it's over a little tiny thing, and we'll certainly speak more about this as we go through the other DVDs because it addresses this later, but this will be a preview of coming attractions. If the first question out of your mouth is, what is this telling me about me that I need to know about? Oh, I hate yeah. that question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it's got to be the one you learn to love the most. <laughs> and, and, and it's interesting to see how if you can phrase it as, is my irritation with this because people are being uncooperative, but, you know, whatever that is, if you can find a word or a phrase and you think, this is something I'm still accusing myself of. It's not the act of taking out the trash or not. It's the what that looks like, not listening, not being cooperative, not obeying. not obeying. It's like, oh, I'm still heaping guilt on myself, not for not taking out the trash, but for being disobedient, for being, you know, whatever. It's just bringing up guilt. And of course, since the Course says, guilt is the big problem here. Guilt is not warranted because, notice everybody, you haven't left home. If you've gone to sleep, you've just gone to sleep, but no damage has been done. And that's, of course, the theme all the way through. You haven't damaged anything. You're still as you were created.